I've been surrounded by some of the greatest athletes of all time, and every one of them had their own unique formula for success. I'm Terry Bradshaw. Please join me as I leave the field for the boardroom in search of the best and the brightest people willing to share their viewpoints. We all reach for the light switch or turn up the thermostat. But how often do we stop to think about where that power really comes from? Once the fossil fuels we rely on are brought to the surface, the path they take to reach our homes and businesses is a fascinating story. Most crude oil and natural gas flow to market via pipelines. Exposed to the elements, these pipelines will inevitably corrode or become damaged. In order to avert supply shortages and hazmat disasters, these pipelines must, by regulation, be checked and repaired on a regular basis. Western Specialties is dedicated to industry needs related to our aging pipelines, offering solutions in pipeline protection and repair. The company has spent hundreds of thousands of dollars toward the testing of our various products with one of the nation's elite engineering firms specializing in pipeline integrity. Conventional methods of testing and repairing a pipeline haven't essentially changed in almost a century. These techniques are very intrusive and expensive, usually requiring some disruption or sometimes a complete shutdown of the line. The industry currently must locate the repair area, excavate the piping, blow down the gas piping system into the atmosphere, and weld in new pipe. This method is usually very costly, environmentally unfriendly, and can be a hazardous process. Western Specialties has developed new technology for effecting repairs to storage tanks and pipelines without needing to empty them or disrupt their service. The company's Composite Patch and Composite Sleeve solutions are made of steel and composite materials proven in use by the aerospace industry. A special formulation of adhesive allows installation without welding directly to a fuel-bearing high-pressure vessel or pipeline. Composites can be made of many different materials, but tend to use fiberglass mesh as the base. Alternatively, there are products such as carbon fiber available in limited quantities due to the aviation industry's heavy demand for the light, extremely durable, and expensive material. The Composite Sleeve and Composite Patch products can withhold the forces of a pressurized vessel and can be applied over an uneven surface such as existing wells or rivets. Tests have shown that a well-executed repair using composite sleeve will exceed the pipe's original operating specifications and will be fully compliant within government regulations. The ability to effect repairs without halting or even slowing down production translates into millions of dollars in savings to producers and ultimately to consumers. Our product has outperformed every existing product on the market in our testing and is the only product available for pressure containment of leaking gas lines. The testing to determine the life cycling of the product demonstrates an equivalent of 1,300 years of pressure containment. It is well known that the pipeline infrastructure in this country is very old. Much of it has outlived its expected lifespan. And safety regulations are getting increasingly more stringent, especially after incidents like the oil spill in the Gulf of Mexico. <laughs> New repair technology can be installed safely without shutting down or even slowing production and without hazardous emissions into the environment would be an invaluable boon to the industry and the planet. We have the data, the process, and the product which will change the landscape of the repair and maintenance side of the industry. This new product will transition from old school to new technology, providing the industry with a new age of tools for pipeline repair. North America has plenty of oil and gas reserves, and our dependence on these fossil fuels is not going away anytime soon. It's vital that we properly maintain the existing infrastructure in a manner that is safe for people and the environment. <laughs>